big breaking news. The first couple of Baltimore City politics under the microscope. The city state's attorney and her husband, the city council president, are under federal criminal investigation. The city's top lawyer and the council's leader being investigated for multiple potential legal issues. The allegations, the church connection, and the couple's fiery response. How this all comes together in a city stained by corruption of elected leaders. Live from WBFF in Baltimore, this is Fox 45 News at 4. First at 4 o'clock, block, blockbuster breaking news. The city's top prosecutor, state's attorney Marilyn Mosby, and her husband, city council president Nick Mosby, are under a federal investigation. The couple's lawyer calls the investigation a political witch hunt. The U.S. attorney and the FBI have been busy serving subpoenas. We have live team coverage on the investigation and the Mosby's storied past. First, we begin with Mackenzie Frost and what exactly investigators are looking for. Mackenzie? Maxine and Kai, we know that the Fox 45 has confirmed through multiple sources that this is a wide ranging investigation involving multiple subpoenas. We have also learned that several area churches in the Baltimore area have reportedly been served subpoenas, including Union Baptist Church. Now, the attorney for Union Baptist Church confirmed that the church was subpoenaed. To, and the Mosby's were the target of that investigation. Now, attorney Robert DeShiel says federal investigators were interested in how much the Mosby's have donated to the church during a specific time period. DeShiel confirmed the Mosby's are not members of the church, but they did make a small contribution. In DeShiel's words, quote, I spend more monthly at Starbucks than the Mosby's gave during the time period that is in question involved in this investigation. Now, he did decline to give an exact amount, but says it was less than $200. So far, the Mosby's have only responded through their attorney, who issued a statement, and it reads in part, quote, my clients are progressive change agents, making them unfair targets of unnecessary scrutiny by federal investigators. It goes on to say, I can assure you and the people of Baltimore, they have done nothing illegal, inappropriate or unlawful. This is a political witch hunt in its purest form, and both of them will vigorously and fully defend themselves. Now, this afternoon, I spoke with Maryland's acting U.S. attorney, as well as the Senate president, Bill Ferguson, about these investigations, both of them keeping pretty tight-lipped. You know, I'm not in a position to uh, say anything about that. I only saw the headline. I have not seen any of the details. But I will tell you, my first immediate instinctual thought was to think about their two daughters. And, um, you know, my, my heart goes out to them. Uh, I know them. They have two great kids. And I just can imagine the emotional strain that's that's there. Um, so we'll see how, how it plays out. Now, Marilyn Mosby is currently in her second term as the city state's attorney, and Nick Mosby was just elected in November to his first term as city council president. Live in Baltimore, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. Mackenzie, thank you. We want to know, do you think the Mosby should step down as the investigation starts? Yes or no? You can weigh in by heading to foxbaltimore.com slash vote. Results will update live. Jeff Abel joins us live right now with a look at the couple's past. Jeff. You know, the Mosby's have been no stranger to controversy. In fact, in the past year, we have learned about their businesses that aren't operating, their taxes that weren't paid, and their questions that go unanswered. Questions about state's attorney Marilyn Mosby and her husband, city council president Nick Mosby, began swirling last year when their personal taxes hit the public radar. The IRS had placed a lien on the couple's property, saying the Mosbys owed the IRS $45,000 in unpaid taxes. Weeks later, candidate Nick Mosby's campaign funds raised questions when a $100,000 discrepancy turned up in his campaign finance report. After Fox 45 first reported it, the campaign report was amended. And most recently, an audit of Marilyn Mosby's travel revealed she'd been away from work 144 days over a two-year period. She went to uh, Kenya. She went to Scotland, she went to Portugal. And while the audit of the inspector general found no financial discrepancies, it was later revealed that Mosby had used campaign funds to pay her personal attorney and even opened two businesses, which she never operated, but did deduct startup expenses from her taxes. She's derelict in her duty. She's not showing up to work. 
Well, a retired prosecutor, a retired investigator has also called on the state prosecutor to investigate Marilyn Mosby's what he believes is her misuse of campaign funds. So far, it's unclear whether the state prosecutor will also be investigating. We're live tonight. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. This isn't the first time city leaders have been under investigation. Former Baltimore City Mayor Catherine Pugh is currently in prison over her Healthy Holly book scandal. In 2019, she pled guilty to conspiracy and tax evasion charges and was sentenced to three years behind bars. In 2009, a jury convicted former Mayor Sheila Dixon of embezzling gift cards meant for the needy. She entered a plea deal, and under the terms of the agreement, she avoided jail time and retained her pension. But she agreed not to seek office in Baltimore City or the state of Maryland while she was on probation. In March of 2019, former Baltimore City Police Commissioner Daryl D'Souza pled guilty to tax evasion and served 10 months in prison. Former Baltimore State Senator Nathaniel Oaks pled guilty to bribery charges in 2018. And last summer, Maryland State Delegate Cheryl Glenn was sentenced to two years in prison for bribery and wire fraud charges. Well, we're getting context of just how far this investigation reaches. Joining us live now via Zoom is tax expert Teddy Prelo. Teddy, thanks for joining us. What do you yes, think? Uh, you're welcome. Uh, what could federal investigators be searching for here? I will say this. Um, if they have been subpoenaed, if their records have been subpoenaed, subpoenaed um, the IRS got wind of something. And this would not have been just one simple phone call from someone saying, um, hey, we think there's wrongdoing there. The IRS would have had to have uh, received quite a bit of information, um, enough, I mean, so much so that they said, okay, this might be worth looking into. And, and this is an investigation. We won't know what happens until it, you know, until it's been revealed. Well, what, what sort of tax trouble could the Mosby's be in here? Um, I think the IRS would be looking at um, possibly unreported income, those kind of things. You know, generally, if you deduct something on your tax return that shouldn't be deducted, ah, if it's one of two things, the IRS is not going to um, swing its hatchet at you, um, as it were. But um, if there is, if there seems to be con some consistencies um, in uh, misreporting, underreporting, or things like that, then the IRS will feel that it has um, a good reason to uh, do more further investigation. And that's what this is going to be. It's going to be further investigation. Sure. And could the federal investigation be tied to their tax lien? Um. I don't think so. I think, generally speaking, um, the IRS would be looking at something else other than that, because a lien is a lien is a lien. And generally, what the IRS will do is they will look at, um, you know, something that may have, may have been even deeper than that. And, and so, and you might say, oh, what's deeper than a lien? Uh, you know what? I think you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm. And so, w what, what would have happened if the lien were a part of this, I would think that it would have happened sometime after the IRS did, it, did its investigation. I, I really do believe that we're talking about two totally separate issues or two, two possibly separate issues. I really do, I think. Interesting. A lot of information expected, uh, I'm sure, to come out in the coming days. But could this ultimately be a complicated situation to untangle? It sounds like it. I, I, I think complicated is going to be the operative word here. And I don't think this is going to be an investigation that's going to be done in a week, two weeks, or anything like this. This I think the IRS will take its time. They will review. And like I said before, they already think that they have enough to at least look at this. You know, other, I mean, it, it's not going to be one person who called up the Internal Revenue Service and said, hey, we think that there's something going wrong there. The, the person, if there was such a call made, would have had to have had some kind of proof because the IRS, I mean, because think about it, you know, uh, 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 otherwise the IRS would be called all the time from all kinds of different people and everybody would be investigated. Um, including those uh, divorced spouses. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> What's the possibility of, of looking at prison time for a tax issue like this? I think that's that's long down the road. I really do. Um, this investigation is going to be long. It's going to be drawn out. The IRS is going to make sure that um, it has all of its T's crossed and its I's dotted. Um, at the same time, uh, Mosby's camp is going to make sure that it has all of its T's crossed and all of its I's dotted. So um, I, this is not going to be over in a week. I, I promise you that this is going to be this is going to go for a while. And, um, you know, we, we will know the end results when we know the end result. Absolutely. And I'm sure we'll be talking with you again. Teddy Prelo, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Oh, you're welcome. And we'd like to know what you think. Do the Mo should the Mosby's uh, step down as the investigation goes on? Yes or no? You can weigh in by heading to foxbaltimore.com slash vote. Vox 45 has extensive coverage on Baltimore's top couple, Marilyn and Nick Mosby, as well as the past corruption in Baltimore. You can read our coverage right now on foxbaltimore.com.